Hello everybody and welcome to my ninth advanced Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to teach you how to use uh, R1C1 referencing. So R1C1 referencing is just a different way of writing your references to, to, to sell your ranges and it's quite useful. Uh, I'll show you how to turn it on. So it's within the options in Excel, you get the tools, options, and then you'll need to select general from the top here you normally be on view to start off with so click on general and then r1c1 reference style and then this is going to as you probably noticed change the column letters to, to numbers so instead of referencing letters you're going to reference numbers all the time so this is quite useful um sometimes i i use it occasionally uh, for when I'm writing VBA to, to, to code something because you can write it in numbers is a lot easier than writing in letters because you can you can manipulate numbers a lot easier. So that's that's the main benefit for, for me. If anyone else knows of any benefits for it other than that then then please write them in the comments. Um but let's get started. So equals and you always reference going R, which is the row one. So row one, so at the moment this is highlighting row one, because we're selecting row one, and then you put the column, so C1, enter. And then this is now referencing row one, column one. So if we put one in, it goes to one, if we put two in, it goes to two, etc. and so on. And then similarly, so if we put row two, column one, it's going to reference this one down here. Uh, and if you put row two column twenty, it's going to reference some cell well over here. Um, so that is how you reference cells. Um, but you're not really going to want to reference them like this uh, because you generally want to use uh, relative referencing rather than absolute referencing with this. Is. So let's say we drag this formula down you notice that all of them are still going to reference R2C20 um, which we don't want it to do, we want, quite often we want it to, to reference a cell in relation to the cell we're in so let's first say we want to fill that series down there and we want, want this cell to reference that cell but then when we drag the formula down we want it to be relative so it will go into the cell next to it so we're going to put equals row and um, we want to put the current row so we want it to be the same row that we're in at the moment so we'll just we won't put a number in we'll just put it as r and then c1 enter and then when we drop this formula down you'll notice that it's referencing the its own row and um, so that's that's really useful. Uh, that's how you do your absolute referencing. Similarly, at the moment, when you copy across, because the C is still set to always do one, it's going to do. It's always going to carry on to column one. So that's that, that's quite clear. I think it's more clear than using these the dollar signs um, in the normal referencing. The same we wanted it to 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 also change the column so we want it to reference the column to the left of it so we're going to delete this we can't just leave it as C this time because we want to reference the column to the left so you put square brackets and then this signifies that you want to offset where you're looking so we're going to want to offset by minus one columns uh, if we put a positive number then it would reference this direction but because we put minus one in it's referenced one column to the left and if we enter that in and then copy it across, um, it's still it's still actually referencing it with the same numbers, but it's actually referencing that one which is referencing that one, referencing that one. So if we put a simple little plus one on the end, copy that down, copy that across, and then you'll notice that it's re it's going, okay, I need to look in this row. But I need to look in the column to the left of me and then I'm going to add one on and then that's added through all five and then similarly you can put R bracket minus one close bracket enter and 
bad uh, I didn't like doing that um, and that's because it's actually gone for referencing um, to the bottom of the sheet so you don't use minus one to go up the sheet because it'll go right down to the bottom so we'll put all that down copy all that across and then notice say so this is going okay I want to go take one down and one left. So it's going down one and left and then added one. This one's going down one, left and added one. And then this one's going down one, left. Um, so that is how you do your referencing. So let's say we want a reference of range. Let's say we want to put sums at the bottom here. So equals sum open bracket and then so as you've seen already you can just put R and that will put a whole row or you can just put C and that will put a whole column um, or you can to do a range so let's put R1 C1 um, and we actually want to be able to drag it across so we want to put it in the column column and R minus 15 close bracket and then we want to go to R minus 1 2. So similarly as normal referencing, so you normally put say A1 to A15, you're just putting the reference of the, the first cell, the reference of the, the last cell, and then it just has all the ones in between. And then close bracket enter and then that's summed it up for us and we can copy that across and we, because we've done it using the relative referencing like this then it's happy to just copy it across how we want it uh, and you'll notice now that then the these ones are, are selecting the totals and then we start getting to see quite big numbers quite quickly um, so let's just drag keep dragging that across um, and then it gets smaller again which is interesting um, and it's because these ones are just dragged as numbers. Uh, so that's it for R1C1 referencing. Um, if you've got any questions about it, because I know it can be quite confusing, then I'll drop them in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be releasing quite a few videos over the, over the coming, coming few weeks. Um, so thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.